Alright, what is up guys, Storm here, and I'm back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be going over what if the Renegon was real. Oh, and before the video starts real quick, I just wanted to say that my other what ifs, such as what if Goku met Naruto, what if Naruto was the Avatar, what if Haku killed Sasuke, I'm going to be continuing those, but I'm going to be continuing them after I finish the Rogue Fox, which only has about three parts left, so yeah. But anyways, let's just jump right into this. Alright, so our story starts off with a 16 year old kid named Michael, chilling, watching Naruto. His favorite character is Pain, and... His favorite thing in the entire anime is the Renegon, and Michael would do anything to be able to obtain the ocular jutsu. That night, however, he opened his window and he saw a shooting star, and he wished that when he woke up in the morning, he would have the Renegon. So Michael just went to bed. And when he woke up in the morning, he looked in his mirror and freaked out. The wish worked. He had the Renegon. Michael was freaking the fuck out. He couldn't actually believe it worked. But then Michael wanted to see if he had the Renegon abilities. He turned around and yelled, Almighty Push! And his bathroom door was thrown off its hinges. Michael now came to the realization that this was real, and that if he had this power, he must have uh, all of them. And now Michael also came to another realization that he now must be the most powerful human in the entire world, and that he could do whatever he wanted. Michael still went to school though, but he put on some sunglasses because he didn't want his classmates to see him having some weird fucking purple eyes. So Michael went to school with his sunglasses on. But then all of a sudden, the principal came on over the intercom and he said that two armed men broke into the school. And he told everyone to go into lockdown. Everybody in Michael's class started to panic, but the teacher yelled for them to get in the corner and to turn off the lights. About 30 minutes had passed when they heard footsteps coming towards the door. And they heard someone trying to open it, but it was locked so they couldn't get in. The person on the other side of the door started banging on it. And then, even more loud bangs could be heard. And the students of Michael's class saw that what looked to be holes appeared in the door. And everyone realized that the shooter was shooting at the door to open it. Eventually, the gunman managed to break down the door and was staring at everybody in the classroom. And that's when Michael stood up and he took off his sunglasses, grinning. The gunman couldn't clearly see his face and he told Michael to get the fuck on the ground or else he would kill him. But that's when Michael yelled. Almighty push, and the gunman flew back through the doorway and into the wall. And it ultimately resulted in the gunman breaking his neck, which killed him instantly. Everyone in the classroom, including the teacher, just looked at Michael in confusion and shock at what they had just witnessed. But that's when the second gunman appeared. Michael still had to recover 5 seconds afterward, but it didn't even take 5 seconds for the second gunman to appear in the classroom. 
but Michael wasn't going to use the almighty push. Michael then put his two palms together. Michael had been testing this one out, and he had obtained some animals. Michael then said something very lightly, and all of a sudden, a tiger, a gorilla, a lion, and a motherfucking grizzly bear appeared. And Michael laughed, saying, Go fuck him up. The gunman didn't even have time to react, as the animals jumped him and started tearing him to shreds. After about 30 seconds, all that was left of the gunman was a bloody, fleshy pile, and you couldn't even recognize his face. The animals then proceeded to disappear. And Michael laughed, saying that that was way too easy. But when Michael looked around, he realized that the students in his class were in fear from him. He had just used his Renegon abilities. And when their classroom became brighter, and the students could see Michael, they saw his eyes. One of the other students yelled, what? What the fuck? He has the Renegon! Michael realized that since people knew he had the Renegon now, that he couldn't stay here, and he had to leave now. Michael then yelled Almighty Push and destroyed the window. He then ran towards it and jumped out, bringing his palms together once more, and that's when a giant bird appeared and Michael landed on it, and they began to fly away. Michael didn't know where he was going, but he knew he couldn't go back home, because when he flew over his house, he saw a bunch of cop cars, and what looked to be people in black suits. About a week had passed, and the story of the teenager who killed two gunmen using strange abilities spread all over the country. And then word spread to Trump. The orange skinned Cheeto heard about Michael's powers and his eyes, and he wanted them for himself. So, the orange skinned Cheeto known as Trump contacted a certain organization to hunt and track down Michael and to capture him alive. And so now, Michael was on the run from the orange skin Cheeto president, some sort of secret organization, and anyone else who would rat him out to the cops. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that what if. I can't lie, I kind of made this as a joke, but it was actually really fun to make. So let me know down in the comments if you want a part 2. Because I think I'm going to definitely do a part 2. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, go subscribe to my other channels, link will be down in the description. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram, the links to those will also be down in the description as well. And, I will see you all in the next one. Peace!